channel if you're not new and welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Dimpy and for today's video, we are going to be talking about pochette accessoire. Now, I have been using this item for quite some time now and it took me so long to get my hands on this wonderful piece and I'm so glad that I was able to snatch one because this piece is so, so, so good. And uh, like I said, I have been using it for a while so I wanna just kind of take the time and kind of discuss the specifics of this item. But before that, if you're not new to my channel, I hope you have subscribed already. And if you're new to my channel, I hope that you would consider subscribing down below. I have so many more reviews like this one coming up in the future. So if you are into that kind of stuff, then definitely do consider subscribing. And also be sure to hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. So coming back to Pochette Accessoire now, I, like I said earlier, it took me so long to get my hands on this bag. In fact, I have an entire video dedicated on this bag and kind of just, you know, sharing my experience on how I obtained it and at the same time giving you tips if you are looking for this bag for yourself. So if you are interested in checking it out, I invite you to click on the link below and I'm also going to actually link the video up here. So be sure to check it out. But in the meantime, just coming back to this bag, like I was saying, this bag is so, so, so good. It is just so incredibly easy to use. I mean, I have other bags from Louis Vuitton that I really, really love and I, in fact, love it more than this one. But I feel like this bag is so, so, so easy to use. You know, you just kind of put it on, you throw it on your body, either crossbody or on your shoulder, and then you completely forget about it, that it, it's even there. It's so lightweight and it's so nice. So before we get into more details of the bag, let me first show you what the bag looks like. So it is about nine inches in length and it is about five inches in height. And then when it comes to depth, it is just about one and a half inches. So it's a fairly good size. It's not too big, not too small. And as you can see, it does have a zippered closure. And when you open it, that's what it looks like inside. So I have my strap inside it and we're going to talk about strap a little bit later. But that's what it looks like on the inside. It's got a dark brown lining and then it does have a back pocket. Um, my piece is made in France and it says so just right here. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know how much I love made in France pieces. It's one of the first things I check for. The date code for this bag is located on the inside slit pocket, just like that. So coming back to the strap, this bag does come with a small shoulder strap and it's it's kind of a short strap and to be honest i've never really worn this one with this bag initially when i got it i was so excited i was like oh my gosh the strap is so cool it gives it a 90s look and you know i'm gonna wear it and kind of feel like you know 90s again but I don't know why I never really worn this. I just, maybe I thought it's too cumbersome. I don't know. But, uh, um, you know, maybe I should wear this. And maybe I will. And in my updated wear and tear video, I can kind of talk about how the strap holds on. But anyways, coming back to the straps, like I said, I have not really worn the strap that comes with the bag. Instead, I have actually been using two other straps. So let me show you. So the first strap that I've been using with this bag is the simple black strap from my Lauren, Ralph Lauren bag. And you know, this is just, you know, it's just a simple black strap and obviously it doesn't match so, so, so very well with this bag. I mean, it's okay, but it's not a matchy, matchy strap. Um, and it's okay for the most part because the strap really comes handy when I just want to quickly throw on this bag crossbody and just kind of go for grocery shopping or if I'm taking a walk and I want to put my phone and keys and things like that. Um, so this strap is really good for that use. But another strap that I have been using with this bag is this chain strap. So I got this chain strap from Amazon and although the chain is a little bit heavy, I think it gives it a really, really nice touch to this bag. Obviously, it also matches with this bag a little bit more than the black strap that I just showed you. But if you are interested in seeing, you know, checking out this strap, then I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the comment box or description box, I should say.
the bag looks equally nice. It's so, so, so comfortable on, you know, either crossbody or shoulder, however you prefer to wear it. It's so comfortable. It fits a ton. And, uh, you know, there is more than one way to wear it. Of course, you can wear it crossbody, but you can also wear it on your shoulder. And uh, even on your shoulder, you can wear it two ways. If you end up like me buying a long strap, then you have a long shoulder bag. And if you end up using the strap that comes with the bag, then you have a short shoulder bag. So even on your shoulder, you can wear it two different ways. And then uh, last but not the least, you can also wear it just like that as a clutch. You know, I think it looks so nice you know, at a wedding or, you know, any formal events that you want to take this clutch um, or take this as a clutch because it really holds a lot. And, and I love the back pocket that comes with the bag. Um, you know, it's good for holding like a card holder or even if you want to just normally put some cards in without a card holder. It's great for that too. As far as I'm concerned, I use the back pocket for a comb. I know if you know me for a while, then you know I'm obsessed with combing my hair. So I have a comb with me at all times. This one is new model and it comes in two different prints. So monogram and Demi Azor. For me particularly, I like monogram more. I just feel like it matches you know, different outfits a lot better. So that's the reason I went with Monogram first, but I will definitely at some point get Demi Azor as well. But like I was saying that this is a new model and uh, you know, if you are interested in still getting the older model, I believe you can't really buy it off the website or in the store anymore, but it is definitely available in the pre-loved market. And the only difference between the new model and the old model is that I believe the old model didn't have the flat pocket that we saw inside this one and the strap for that one is i believe a little bit shorter than this one and one thing i also want to mention is that this bag doesn't stand straight when it's empty but it does stand straight when it's full so initially when i got this bag i was like oh my gosh this bag doesn't stand straight i don't like that but then I realized that if it's stuffed and if it's happy, if it's full, then it has no problem standing up straight. So just thought I would throw it out there in case you're someone like me who likes to have their bags, you know, standing upright just like that. On the whole, I think this is a great starter piece. If you are looking to start your Louis Vuitton collection, then I would definitely recommend considering this as an option. And size-wise, I think it's a great size. It's really in between the toiletry 15 and toiletry 19. Obviously a little bit less structured than those two, um, but I think that really serves as an advantage because that means that you can really stuff it up and kind of, you know, it would hold a lot more things because it is malleable and it is expandable. I just want to quickly show you how much this bag holds. So right now I have my zippy coin purse in there and the key pouch as well as some mints, hand sanitizer, of course, very, very important. And I also have some hand cream. And I also have in the back pocket here, I have a comb and some oil absorbing sheets. So as you can see, it really has no problem fitting all the daily essentials. And I'm gonna close this up so you can see that there's still some room up at the top. Um, so you can definitely fit more things if needed. There's no bulging or anything like that. And even if you see the canvas here, it's still like really malleable and soft, which means that you can definitely slide some more things here, right beside where my wallet is and it would fit really fine, no problem whatsoever. So just to kind of put everything together, I just love this piece. I think it's a great piece to have especially if you are considering to start your uh, Louis Vuitton collection. I think it serves as a great starter piece. It's a good catch-all into your big bags. It's great as a crossbody, as a shoulder, even as a clutch. So there's obviously so many ways to wear it and I just love that about this bag. I don't really think it has any other cons. I mean, the short strap could definitely be a con, but you can definitely fix that by buying a separate strap for it. It does have a small vachetta piece and although that could be a con, it's definitely not a huge con 
and uh, you know the gold tone hardware i think looks so 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 nice with the monogram canvas the stitching on the strap is also really nice it's yellow and i think it complements the vachetta so 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 well so all together i'm a fan of this bag and i just can't say enough good things about it if you are considering or if you're on a fence of buying this bag then i would definitely definitely recommend and I tell you to pull the trigger and get this bag so that was all about this bag. I hope I convinced you to get this bag. And if you are looking for this and finding it hard to buy, then definitely check out my five tips that I gave on another video about how to get this bag. I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below or up there somewhere so that you have easy access to it. So that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And I also hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and stick around for more videos like this one. I always, always say that in all of my videos, but believe me, every single person that subscribes to my channel, I really, really appreciate and it makes me so, so, so happy. So literally it takes only one person, only one of you to make me that much happy and I just love it. So anyways, I will see you guys in my next video, either one of these ones. Do consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.